Just out there in the distance is the, uh, the vessel Halina G, the Portuguese registered vessel. On its way in from Sault Ste. Marie and making its way over to Italy. And I'm down here, I'm literally, I'm about, I think I just worked out, I'm nearly five miles off the coast of Port Coburn. And that ship is probably about three miles away from me and getting closer. So I'm just waiting for it to come in with the light winds when I get the drone shut up and probably follow it back into Port Coburn. meters long well 199 to be precise look at the water pouring over the bulbous bow she's still at full steam by the looks of it she should be slowing down shortly you can just see the uh, the water just cresting over the bulbous bow there that is really cool Oh, she's flying. All right, let's just sit this off a second so we can hear it. That's nice. Nice to see the ship was still doing the same speed she was doing over an hour ago, 23 kilometers an hour as she approaches Port Coburn. The big wakes on this. Jeez. Need to try and get ahead of the wake. Up and down. <laughs> is the pilot boat and the pilot boat's going to make all his way out to here jump on and he'll take the uh and the g for the welling canal This is the MV Helena G, originally known as Gargany. She is a bulk carrier registered in Portugal and she was built in 2007 by Yingjiang Shipbuilding Heavy Industry in Tianjin, China and she operates under the flag of Madeira. She measures in at a length of 199.9 meters which is 655 feet and 8 inches. 
and she has a beam of 23.7 meters which is 77 feet and 7 inches and her gross tonnage is 22,790. She's currently sailing to Ravenna in Italy and it'll take her just over two weeks to complete the journey here from Lake Erie all the way over to Italy.
So this is the second vessel I've caught this year. It's actually on its way to Italy. Uh, so it's going from Sault Ste. Marie all the way over there to Italy. So it's going to make its way to Lake Ontario via the Welland Canal, through the Lawrence Seaway, through um, Montreal, Quebec. Then it'll make its way out onto the Atlantic Ocean, cross over the Atlantic, through Gibraltar into the Mediterranean and make its way over to Italy. Crew member giving me a wave. Nice man. A gorgeous looking ship. Really nice looking ship. So once she gets into Port Coburn, she's going to be uh, spending the next 8 to 11, I think it's 9 to 11 hours uh, traversing all the lock systems here on the Welland Canal. Uh, this is lock 8, so it's got to go all the way down to lock 1. So it'll probably be about midnight uh, or 1 o'clock in the morning by the time it actually gets onto Lake Ontario. Right, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that. It's another uh, ship video uh, for the books. Enjoyed it. Another good one. Um, I'm going to head back and uh, enjoy the weekend. Uh, so on behalf of myself and the Hell Energy and the wonderful crew on that boat, I wish them bon voyage, safe travels, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.